Hello, my beautiful babes, and welcome to another episode. Well, ah, and welcome to my first episode of Idol Manager. This game is in beta on itch.io, and it is $25, I believe, to pay for it to get it, and you will get a release of it on Steam as well. When the game releases, it'll be $15, but if you buy it now, I believe, you also get a copy for Steam. Anyways, I've been a fan of this game for a while, and I just deleted all of my outdated saves. So, let's do this from the beginning! Female, uh... Inspiring last name... Crazy. Uh... Lunar Lovers. Why not? It's one of my favorite names that I've, uh, made. Continue. Let's go normal. Oh, are you here to meet with Fujimoto? Sorry to break it to you, but he's not here right now. If you had an appointment scheduled for now, well, you might be waiting for a while. Fujimoto has a habit of keeping people waiting. When will Fujimoto be here? Where is Fujimoto? What's that one? Hey, do I look like I know? I don't even work here. I mean, it's not like anyone works here, right? Not at the moment, at least. If you wanted to meet anyone who works for Fujimoto, well, you showed up a week too late. What happened a week ago? What happened to Fujimoto's employees, I think it says? Sorry, my recording thing has right there, so I can only see the E. Oh, you didn't know? Well, this building might look like a ghost town now, but it used to be home to some very lucrative businesses. They were the kind of businesses that turned a very large profit, but they did most of their business in cash. If you catch my drift. Fujimoto runs the kind of businesses that favor profits over morals, kicking it old school of the world's oldest profession. Of course, the local law enforcement were usually willing to turn a blind eye as long as they got cut of the action. But ever since our, our cho city was chosen to host the upcoming Olympics, the higher ups have started cracking down on that sort of thing. I guess Fujimoto decided to clean up his act for the police he had to get involved. Which would explain why this building is now empty and some of the neighborhood's finest massage therapists are now finding themselves out of a job. Oh, that kind of business. But I guess their loss is your gain, right? That's what you're reading Fujimoto about? Well, as best as I can gather, Fujimoto's goal is to clean up his act. But let me give you a piece of advice. People don't change their ways so easily, you dig? You want to run the thing squeaky clean, you'll be running against the grain. Why are you bad-mouthing Fujimoto? Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Me? I'm just a concerned citizen giving out some free advice. Is that enough gossip? I'm just trying to impress you upon you that Fujimoto probably desperate to fill this space with some kind of business. Whoever fills it could probably get away with running it at a loss for the foreseeable future. Benefits of not caring where your money comes from means you can accumulate a lot of it. Fujimoto spent a lot of time not caring where his money came from. Anyway, I've already said too much. Enjoy your meeting with Fujimoto, alright? And away he goes. Oh, 
Ah, you're crazy inspiring, right? Sorry to have kept you waiting. Good to finally meet you in person. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised to see you're so young, but entertainment does seem to be a young person's game, especially when it comes to managing talent. I'm gonna have to turn down this music when I can. Anyway, your age is less important to me than your ex experience, which is enough to impress me. Not that impressive, I'm glad you're impressed. That one. The thing that caught my eye, however, wasn't your education or even your most recent work experience. I was most impressed by the fact that you worked at a convenience store in high school. Which, I think that's a really normal thing for people to do, isn't it? Most people won't brag about working at a convenience store and become part-time manager at such a young age is certainly unusual. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Especially given that I have to know that convenience store in a pretty rough and tumble part of town. Someone who knows how to get things done, aren't you? Managing an idol agency isn't exactly the same thing as running a convenience store, but you have to deal with a lot of the same problems. Being employees are trying to balance school and work, learning on a tight budget, keeping customers happy, you know the business fundamentals, I think you'll do well here. And if you don't yet know everything you need to, I hope you'll learn fast. So anyway, I have the paperwork here. If you're ready to sign, your terms are, well, let's just say that they're the best terms I was able to get on such short notice. Since I want you to be your boss, you're the boss. I'm just a sponsor. An investor, if you will. This is your enterprise, and I'm just buying myself a piece of the action. When it comes to sign capital, I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of cash. My investments haven't left me very liquid. That is a weird thing. And I'm taking a loss on a significant portion of my portfolio, you see. Part of the reason this building happens to be vacant, I can offer you use of the bottom floor rent free. Pretty lucky for my loss to turn into your gain, isn't it? Kind of generosity isn't typical for me, so don't be used to it. What do you get out of this? Why are you doing this? What do you get out of it? Like I said, didn't I? I just want piece of the action. You'll do all the hard work, and if it turns out to be successful, I get some of that prestige by association. If it fails, well, it won't be the first business venture I've seen fail. Truth is, I would need someone to fill this property. If you let space go unused for too long, you can start to look run down. That can affect the value of the surrounding property. It's not good to have a building that never has anyone leaving or entering. But if you start expanding and taking up space, you're going to ha have to pay for the space you move into. Bit early to worry about that for the time being, I assume you'll be focused on getting some starting talent, training them up, with promotion, and getting a fan base. Don't know everything about the entertainment industry, but one thing I do know is that you're nothing without your fans. An idol group lives or dies based on the size of the following it gets. Guess I'm not saying you shouldn't pay attention to your bank account, but if you're not increasing the size of your following, you're probably doing something wrong. Plus, there's me to think about. One of the reasons I want to start starting an idol group is so that one day I can turn on a TV or pick up a newspaper and see how about something I help create. So go out there and make me proud. Okay, and is there anything I forgot to cover? Forward to working with you. But don't get me wrong, I'll try to come to big events that I'm busy me on. You're talking about investment. I'm not sponsoring any other idol groups. Against my interest, sponsor two different companies that might compete against each other. Always trying to diversify my portfolio, so I might stop by the office once in a while. Don't expect to see much of my face. So, first off, let's turn the story music, the music, down a bit. There we go. So, hopefully, since I deleted my other saves, the glitch that uh, it's happening right now. The theater will not be uh, working. So first off, you have to get your office. And then it's good to get a dance room and a recording studio in the free space because they cost a lot. And then down here, I like to put the office for the woman who will be doing that. Let's create a new save also. Save. Did it save? Yes, it did. Lunar Lovers. 
Okay, so here it is. Sorry, they changed all the staffing and everything. So, uh, let's get, let's focus on coaching and deals. Uh, there's a dressing room and all this stuff, so that will come by later. But these are the main people you need. Play, and of course, uh, you need auditions, so start some local auditions. Because they cost the least. And this you can't do yet since I don't have any idols. Fast forward time a bit. Hello, ma'am. What is it? You can call me by my name. What is it? I mean to talk to you about your organization's policies. Right now, they're not very well defined, and I was hoping I could ask you a few questions to rectify that. Specifically, a number of guidelines for how the girls behave and how events are run. It can be chaotic if things aren't consistent. Think of this to have a set policy in place that everyone is working the same rule book. I just have some ideas for policies. Great, I mean to ask, of course, and like set stone their policies. Getting some more reputation, people changing policies can take a while. You might have to wait longer for the benefits to show up organization we have time to change things around so if you're a bit unsure no need to stress over a particular policy decision you can always adjust it later sorry that probably that was probably more explanation than you need you're the boss you don't need me to explain how your organization works in fact you're supposed to be the one who tells everyone how things work so with that in mind what kind of business process do you think would be most promising so, since we're just starting out, photo shoots will be the earliest thing we can do. They're one time goods, so they're good for a quick infusion of cash without having to worry about long term contracts. Looking to maximize short term revenue? It's hard to do better than a photo shoot. Yes. Of course, it never hurts to change things up. Yeah, so uh, later it'll be really good to do advertisements because then you'll get money every week. Focus. Sure to let you know when those things come up, even if they're not the kind of business deal we're focusing on at the moment. Business proposals are kind of my area, so I just wanted to make sure you're well aware of the options. My next few questions should be simpler and more straightforward. Thinking about the branding of lunar lovers. What kind of vibe do you want people to associate with your group? Cute, cool, sexy, pretty, funny, smart, or neutral? Hmm. Maybe cool or pretty. Let's do pretty. Hard to go wrong with that. I've never met someone who doesn't like looking at pretty things. Alright, other branding questions. About the kind of fans we're trying to attract. What kind of image do you, are we trying to fix? Orthodox, rebellious, or neutral? Orthodox is uh, good for hardcore. Rebellious is I forget, and neutral is just neutral. So let's do orthodox. Hope a score of points by traditional fans, by that I mean male fans and older demographics. They can be your liable consumers, but fans of orthodox groups look tolerance of scandals, so please bear in mind that in going forward. So it's very hard to. Uh, target females as your audience in this group because there's so little options that actually gives you female audience which is why males is probably the best option you have more respect expensive oh how there's more of the bad apples uh basic background checks after this Social media. Uh, no restrictions. Yeah, you there. You can get harassed and stuff. 
figure out what to do about allowing live streams if we don't allow them at all. Uh, no streams means nothing. Controlled streams mean you will get money. And no restrictions means you will get fans. So, since I'm doing normal mode, let's do controlled streams. Heard that some streamers collect donations from viewers and actually make a bit of side income from it. It's not a lot, but it's not nothing either. Another thing, we need to have a dating policy in place. There are more, shall we say, invested fans who don't like the idea of idols dating. They think it ruins part of the appeal. On the other hand, they're not allowing idols to date is kind of thing that would seem to doctrinate dr draconian to less invested fans and that might be a bit of a turn off for them. It's completely apart from the impact that Romans can have Hell's life and independent there are a lot of emotional highs and lows. Romans can be someone's sense of seem it can easily be a distraction. Okay. Dating related scandals. Strict rules against dating than anything remotely scandalous is going to be a much bigger deal. On the other hand, having loose and flexible policy makes it like less makes it more likely that scandals will happen in the first place. Try to set no official policy, and it won't discourage idols from being romantically involved in the group. That's been known to happen, but if that happens, it's much easier to keep under wraps. So it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, because we're going to be going for hardcore as well, because they uh, buy a lot and do all that stuff, let's forbid dating. Um, yes, that's just uh, auto giving idle salaries to make them happy. Let's not automatically increase salaries because at the beginning it gets very costly when you're uh, not making a lot of money all at once oh she has a cute little pearl earring didn't notice that not too much work to keep on top of things yourself crypto is too large to keep track for everyone's salaries okay are you interrupting anything Wrapping up some of the group's policies. Uh, event security. Okay. Hardcore fans don't like security guards. Having good security will make the girls feel safer. Let's do relax because again, we're going to go for hardcore. Yeah, uh, we can always change this later with scandal points. I've been thinking about clothing choices, wardrobe accidents, or panty shots as it's known in anime and stuff. Hardcore fans would love to see girls in short shorts, skirts. Less hardcore fans aren't into it if go with long skirts. Uh, that's more of a female oriented thing. And uh, fans. Okay. Mm. Wearing shorts under the skirts would be a minimal thing. Uh, okay, so pants are for casuals. Let's just say screw it and go with short skirts. Riskier, but it's appeal for hardcore fans. It'll keep me on your t on my toes. They can know that thanks for bringing it up. But when it comes to life performance, quality or energy, energy and enthusiasm. Because that's for hardcore quality and polish is for casual, and that's just the middle ground. Fans can tell when it's really giving it their all during a performance. Real hardcore fans love that kind of authenticity. Fans see a girl who's singing her heart out and isn't holding anything back, or someone who's dancing so passionately 
that they're sweating on stage is the kind of thing that can make them a fan for life. I'll do my best, my part to make sure that every live performance is special. Change your mind, you can always change the group's policies. Okay, and... Yeah, so basically until, like, a month or two passes or we release our first single, we can change things for free. But I don't plan on changing anything. Unless maybe our look, if I don't get much people with pretty. Okay. Wow, I never realized how long that took. So to start everything, we need a girl. Oh, she's really good at pretty and negotiations are always successful. That's good. Oh, she's pretty as well. Oh, and that's a really good thing to have. Immune to bullying and online harassment. Okay, not really what we're looking for. Yeah, no. Okay, so I guess I'll get Ano Hikari and Ichiki Yuri to start. Because it's good to start with one to two girls. There we go. Yeah, I hear this injury can, industry can be pretty rough and tumble, but don't worry about me. I'm like rubber. Whenever people insult me, it bounces off and sticks to my shoe. Wait, is that the expression? Glad to see you in person. I'm sure you've seen my photos, right? Don't I just look winsome in them? Okay, so first I'm going to give you dance and I'm going to give you vocal because I wasn't paying attention to those stats. Okay, so it may also be good to get a dressing room. See how on the second floor, the rent for the larger buildings are 20000 a week, but the smaller ones are ten. And now that we have girls, activities, get them fans. Okay, so it might be good to start off with three idols. And I'm just decreasing their salaries all to the basic thing which is 19,000 just because I know this game and it's going to be really difficult to start off okay and let's also say okay and then see we have seven fans and there they got rid of the thing that uh, lets us just queue up a, ball, a bunch of them, which kind of sucks. Huh? Ah. Doing fine. Yep, I've been promoting really actively. Might consider holding a live performance, even small ones can get, generate some cash. Take a break from promotion to put on a performance. Ooh, that's good. Okay. How'd you get them to do that? Not the local business that I've invested. Oh, I'm not the only one. Okay. Yeah, he expects, like, fame and stuff. Okay. Yeah, so as soon as I can... Uh, let's... Shoot, I don't have enough yet. You need about 430 something to unlock stuff. 
And now activities, promotion. Let's go back to the normal thing. And then idols. So if you don't have anyone doing anything, then they're just going to generate research points. And you need that for stuff like photo, like uh, how to research, how to do photo shoots and all this other stuff. We'll be playing this for a few more minutes. Okay, so I will have to not do anything. Oh, let's pause here and uh, casual hardcore, uh, core happiness, regret. Let's do regret. Then managers, let's start with digital only release because that won't cost us any money. And then for him, let's do uh, avant-garde because it gives us hardcore and now uh, you can go back into the vocal and just we need a few more research points we need 432 there we go so uh the energetic hardcore. Uh, let's do sexy to get some guys. And now let's start to make a single. Uh, yeah, midnight smile sounds good. And now we click all these and see. Adult and hardcore are good. Production cost zero. So. Ichiki is going first, and then she's going second. And now we start writing up. Uh, vocal and dance. Okay, so I'm also going to need a break room. And well, oh shoot, I need to get some loans. Let's get a uh, six-month loan from him, and then I'm going to release a pop single about partying to be able to get more from him. So... We're starting to run out of time, so this is where I shall, uh, this is where I shall end it here. Thank you. Uh, I'll probably be jumping right back into it. Okay, and here's the sales chart. I'll be jumping right back into it probably, so I'll see you guys. Bye.